we're going to do the pairing protocol. And what I'd like you to do is based on the observation I did in your room with you and Don in a collaborative setting, if mm -hmm. you wouldn't mind sharing in a minute and a half, and I'm going to time you. Okay. Um, in a minute and a half, just share with me some feedback related to how you felt the lesson went, what were some areas of improvement, and then I'm going to deliver some feedback to you, and we're going to go back and forth a little bit following that protocol. Discussion goes because I know there's a lot of research into gender grouping. A lot of schools have gone to gender based classrooms and would just like to see how that works in a collaborative setting, just to kind of see, you know, if that's, you know, a way that we might want to go. Back. I love the idea of gender grouping. I think that um, that shows a form of differentiation that can be used um, and would enable you to. Um, really maybe test the research-based strategies to see if they are effective within the classroom. Meeting with me today, Dawn, um, I did observe you a couple of weeks ago and I enjoyed listening to the collaborative instruction that you did um, with Ms. Chadwick. I thought it was very impressive. Um, I wanted to meet with you today to get some feedback from you and how you felt it went and some areas you feel you might work to improve. Um, and also, I wanted to share some feedback that I observed while in the room and then to discuss that openly. Um, as far as the positive um, aspects of the lesson, um, I think it's really important for kids to be able to see how one academic area, you know, can readily tie in with another. Um, a lot of times we don't get the opportunity to do that because we're so stressed for time. I'll tell you that the, the instruction was phenomenal. Um, I personally have not seen collaboration done so well ever, and several other people that were able to observe commented on the same thing to say that they felt it was the epitome of what collaborative <laughs> teaching should be. Good um, oh, it was wonderful. You had a very natural um, partnership, which was wonderful too, to see that you work so well together and the kids do that. So we're going to follow a pairing protocol. Okay. Um, it's going to allow you a minute to a minute and a half to describe to me what you enjoyed in a lesson, what you felt was productive, okay. and some things that you would work to improve if given the opportunity when you reteach that lesson again. Okay, it's a mystery test. So I'm going to have to kind of look at who knows what and figure out how I can get them all sort of to the same level before we begin reading. And like I said, I was very impressed. I think my only recommendation would be, um, and you already referenced this, would be the use of grouping um, to differentiate instruction for your students, which you are definitely doing, but you, right. you mentioned that can be done more effectively. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to tweak that and figure out how to get them all where they need to be. Great. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in.